Try some smoke on the side. Fucker ain't getting up. Sweep the area for hunters, but be careful. Move out. The purpose of this video commentary is to help just about any player out there who is non-OP. Um, OP, as you probably are familiar with, is overpowered. Normally it's in reference to a, a weapon that somebody's not happy about, such as the shotgun. Uh, some players consider the burst rifle to be OP. Some players consider themselves to be OP, which I think is funny. Uh, but I do have to agree with players such as uh, New You Extreme and Interrogations. He's just a badass. Uh, Japo, I really enjoy watching his gameplay. Uh, Swifty is awesome with burst rifle. He's my inspiration. <laughs> Even though uh, he doesn't like me anymore. Or never did, but you know, whatever. Uh, Fantastic Man, that, you know, it, it's a long list of players out there who are really good at the game. Um, other terms that you've probably heard some of these players use Scrubs, Try Hard, and finally James Bond. These are all derogatory terms used by good players to describe <laughs> players that aren't so good. If you hear somebody using one of these terms, they're basically an asshole, and you can just mute them. Because they're not going to have anything important to say going forward. Uh, scrub, noob, try hard, they're all basically saying, in their opinion, you suck, and they're better than you. Rather than say, good game, which is what I try to do. Uh, I don't use any of the terms myself, but some of my teammates do, and you know, there's really no stopping them. One term I want to focus in on, and I feel it's important to address, is James Bond. The name's Bond. James Bond. James Bond, you know, is Agent 007, and uh, when it's used in this context to describe a player, for instance, Blade 105 at the bottom went zero downs, zero executions, and seven deaths. That's James Bond, 007. Damn, that was a good shot. If a team is sticking together and still loses, but does okay, you should expect all the players to have six deaths. Six times four, 24. That's your amount of respawns for supply raid. But if you go 007, not only did you not put any numbers on the board as far as downing or killing anyone, you've died more than your teammates have. So the purpose of this video is to, if, if you recognize that you're on the path of being a James Bond player, to get you off of that path. Nobody should want to bring down the team. If you've got a team established, nothing is going to hurt more than knowing that you're dragging down the team. For whatever reason, the opposing team has your number or you're not doing something right. Um, what you'll learn from my technique is how to head this off, how to support the top player. You know, if you can't put numbers on the board, you can certainly help your top player put better numbers on the board. Nice. 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 The highlight reel. <laughs> he's coming, he's coming. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Oh shit! Double bomb, double bomb. Oh. Damn. I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna talk shit. You guys are such fucking scrubs at the welfare. Holy shit. Another term that you'll hear often in complaints is um, how broken the welfare system is for The Last of Us. Run, 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 run. I got my kill. Oh. Alright, the gifts are about to be flowing. Basically, if your team is not doing well and or you aren't doing well, the box when you open it, if you can get to it, will be much more generous than it is for the opposing team. If the opposing team 
has a player that's putting up double digits, like 10 downs and nine executions or whatever, and that that player opens a box, especially if his team is winning, and I'm sure you've seen it yourself, you'll get one item like a rag or something worthless like explosive. So that can be frustrating, especially when the opposing players who are not doing as well as you are are getting wholly made items such as maybe a bomb or uh, Molotov or whatever. This is what experienced players call welfare, and they're not happy about that. So <laughs> I'm going to help you make the most of the welfare system that Naughty Dog developed. I'm not complaining about it because I use it, everybody uses it. One left, only one left card. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Last man standing, what do you do? You go for a box because you're going to get a shitload of stuff. And that might help you win the game. It's in the game. If you don't like it, find a game that Welfare does not play so much of a role. Down, down one, Star. Get out of there, Star. Get out of there. Get out of there. Hey, yeah, we lost that one. Yep. Damn it. Someone has to either... Alright, so you got it. pretty good. And besides, I've played plenty of games, and you've probably played plenty of games, that Welfare can't play a role because the map, probably a small one, is being completely controlled by the opposing team. And you just don't have a chance to make it to a, more than one box, and the items that you receive m make a difference. To me, I respect the welfare system because it's going to balance the game a little bit more. Um, to me, a blowout is not fun at all. And these very experienced players, you know, how much fun are they really having going, you know, 17 and 0 or 18 and 0, whatever, just wiping the map with newer players? It's it's just not that fun. So. You know, I don't mind the welfare system, even when my team is up and the opposing team makes a comeback. Hey, right there! Uniform! Those uniforms are fucking done! If the opposing team makes a comeback, the items gifted from the boxes do play a role, but so does your team allowing them access to the boxes. Once you realize that you have zero downs, zero executions, and three deaths, you need to switch to your Jack Mason loadout. And your Jack Mason loadout is going to look very similar to what you normally run, but you're going to drop some of your perks and make room for the massive six points for Crafter 3. Here's what I recommend for the loadout. Reviver 3 is probably the most powerful perk to have in the game, followed by Crafter 3 because you're going to play a support role for a little while and then strategist one so you can know when you're marked. What you want to do is craft according to what items you have in excess because you're less worried about complex items such as a nail board or Molotov or nail bombs. These items are very powerful but your goal is to craft as much as possible to gift as much as possible. If I have an extra blade I will craft a nail bomb. If I have an extra binding, I will craft a Molotov. If I have an extra rag and a melee weapon, then I will craft a modified melee weapon. Otherwise, I'll do shivs, medkits, and smoke bombs. So okay. that is the first yeah. thing I follow first as I craft. Straggler. The second thing I do as I craft is I count the number of times I craft. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop. The reason why you stop at six is because you've just crafted enough items to give three gifts. Any more crafting beyond this point, and you're not going to be able to hold an additional gift to give. So, once you've crafted six items, which is possible, especially if you're receiving additional items from the boxes, you need to offload those three gifts as soon as possible before you start crafting again 
to make full use of this support class. Upon respawn, your goal is to find a box safely and then find your top player and give that player gifts. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I like to hit it and quit it on the slowdown. I like to get off of the slowdown as quickly as possible and or when I've upgraded my primary weapon twice. Yep, I almost had him. But if I'm not doing well and I need to boost the top player, I'll stay on it indefinitely. <laughs> Damn it. Should have backed off. They're reviving. Many players run with maxed out med kits in their inventory. They'll pick up every single med kit that they run across. Damn, like crap. But this is uh, detrimental when you're trying to gift to your team. That's why I always avoid it because I'll switch this loadout. Two over here. Two over here. To boost parts to upgrade weapons faster. Get your ass over here one with me. me so I'll pick up one med kit but the rest of them I prefer to craft myself damn it I'm playing like crap Find me. kill him kill him kill him guy down kill him first another thing you can do if you're really close with your team Got one down. is uh, announce that you are Jack Mason and you need box X because they're going to receive gifts from you by escorting you to the box. I need the water, guys. <laughs> I'm gifting so y'all get something out of it. I have a gift arrow. Want the water? Don't trust me with anything. Well, you're the only one I can give it to. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Look at arrow. 9-10. Hey, Jesus.